Have you ever been in a place where you experienced the presence of God? A place that was so peaceful that you could stay there forever. Have you ever been to a God spot? There is a place high on a hill in a rural area near Madison, Wisconsin that many people feel is a God spot and are drawn to it for its quiet and beauty. This place is a tiny chapel dedicated to God through Mary, located in the Wisconsin State Park, Indian Lake. The chapel, built high in a hill, was constructed around 1857. Its historic beginnings are tied to the diphtheria epidemic in the 1850s, after John Endress, a recent immigrant from Germany in 1852, prayed for the Virgin Mary's intercession to protect his family from the epidemic. He and his wife, Anna Maria, had already experienced the loss of two children. In thanksgiving for his family surviving the epidemic, John, with the help of several of his children, built a chapel on his 80 acres of land, on top of a hill overlooking a Native American encampment near Indian Lake. When Endress sold the land, he placed in the deed a clause, stating the one-room chapel was to be kept up and maintained by heirs and assigns forever. The land was purchased by the state of Wisconsin for a park with the obligation of a deed stating the chapel would be tended to. To help people reach the top safely, a pathway was created on the less steep side of the hill with steps and places of rest added. The chapel is a state historical landmark commemorating the courageous people in Wisconsin who survived the diphtheria epidemic of the 1850s family, friends, and relatives in the years to follow made yearly pilgrimages to the chapel using the side of the hill with a very steep incline. The visit was an important event in their lives, the long climb of penance, and worth the effort. The chapel built of native stone and mortar is situated in a grove of oak, birch, and hickory trees. The door and window frames are made of wood. Originally made of wood, the roof is now covered with metal. Inside the chapel is a hand-carved altar made of wood. Although no longer there, family members recall a white cloth embroidered with German letters saying, O Mary, Mother of Mercy. The focal point of the chapel is a statue of Mary, which was imported from Europe. The handcrafted altar is illuminated by light from two small windows. On the walls of the six by eight foot chapel are several pictures including Christ with a crown of thorns, the apostles, and the Savior's appearance to them after the resurrection. Near the chapel a short walk away, there is a lookout ledge where a breathtaking view of Indian Lake State Park can be observed. The park is open to the public, offering hiking trails and picnic areas. The chapel was consecrated a shrine in 1926 by Archbishop Sebastian Mesmer, the Diocese of Milwaukee. It was given the name St. Mary's of the Oaks. A truly perfect God spot for you and your family to visit.